I went ahead and ignored that. Um, you know, I noticed like when some of my friends get pregnant, our relationship changes. And I really want to be going hard for them. But I noticed like every time like one of my friends, especially if I call her like a good Judy, things change. I don't know. But I felt like I'm going to just have to remove myself from people that worked at the furniture store where I work because I feel like they still kind of like attack me without saying anything to me. And I know I shouldn't feel like that, but that's just honest. Um, let me see. My daughter started work Sunday. My dude started Sunday. I was unable to tra trade in my car. Now, let me tell you. Um, and I'm just going to call them out. I, I hate car lots anyway. I hate car lots anyway, right? But I really hate being gas lit to make you think I'm going to get a car. Now, I owe 5000 on my car. So, that ain't really that much money. It's a lot of money, but it's not like 10 12 right? So, they said they have this program, and you can get no credit check. You need a voucher. But what they don't tell you is, until you get there, that you need 20 to 30% down. They also look like with that 20 to 30% down, you need a, a smaller car. As you all know, I want to start, I want to pick up truck now. So, of course, instead of him being like, dot, 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 you need this, you need that. Of course, he runs my credit. I have a repo on there for about two, three years ago. And he comes back and he says like, oh, well, you have the income, but your credit is a little shady. And one thing that's hurting you is to, is the repo. So the best thing you could do is go file chapter seven. I was like, yeah, I already did that. I don't want to keep doing that to myself because eventually I want to be a homeowner. Um, instead of them just being up front with us, like, hey, do you have 20%, 20 to 30% down? I don't know your situation, but dot, 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 dot. I wish that when you selling cars and I went to Chrysler, Jeep and Dodge Fiat in Union City, um, I wish when, you know, you getting us there, you don't know, I could have been, that could have been my last $6 that I put in my gas tank. You don't know. And I hate when car lives do that. So I was unable to trade in my car. That day I left and I almost had a terrible accident. Like I almost hurt me, my daughter and somebody else. And then I was still mad at my friend because I felt like I go to war for people. If you my friend... I'm going to be like, well, yeah. So let me tell you, if it was me, if it was me, and it, and she had a text, grumpy manager and told grumpy manager, grumpy manager and owner, like, hey, I didn't quit on y'all. Y'all fired me for wanting to go part-time, dot, 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 dot. Y'all seen the message, dot, 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 dot. And he would have texted me. I've been like, well, y'all did fire the girl on her day off. And y'all, yeah, y'all was letting him get away with murder towards that girl. That girl didn't want to, that girl didn't want to leave this store. And yes, that's me comforting her in the video because she wouldn't, she didn't even want to leave the store. It was hard for her to leave the store. I would just took up for her instead of just coming back to, instead of coming back to her like, girl, why you do that? I don't want to be involved with that. I ain't got time for this right now. You can stay calm while you're pregnant and you can just text and be like, hey, dot, 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 don't, don't, you know, hey, yeah, don't be texting me, but I'm just going to tell you my point of view. Y'all were wrong. For doing that girl like that. And I feel like most of all her. Yeah she's supposed to have my back. If they came back and fired me. If I'm her friend. I done stood up for her. And they come back and fired me. Because they don't want me to stand, you know, stand up for myself. That's called retaliation. That's a lawsuit. But for her just to kind of just throw me up on the bus. And not really have my back. I just felt like. Okay. This ain't, something ain't right. You know, she has always been the one to tell me to turn the other cheek, da, 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 da. And I've been telling her, like, ooh, I can't really do it. I'm not y'all. I'm going to say something. I'm not going to keep getting verbally abused because that's what they that's what they allow that man to do. Keep getting verbally abused by a job that's only paying me $15 an hour and don't nobody really like me. Or they make just coming to, my, coming to the job unpleasant. So I just felt some type of way. So I almost had a wreck. 
a real bad wreck. I had wanted something to eat, so I had a little money left over. Like, since they have fired me, I didn't get no unemployment. All my bills are in disarray. Two plus two is 12. Nobody ever asked me, like, why you want to go um, part-time. They didn't even care. You know that saying about, like, if you die, they're going to put somebody else in your spot? That's what they did. So, my daughter said we need to sage, and I feel like we probably will sage. Want nobody but one person know where I um, stay at. I want me a new car. I don't, I want to get rid of all these members of that furniture store. I don't want to be bothered with that furniture store anymore. You know, and I love her to them. Like, she really has looked out for me. I have been hungry. She has blessed my, my zeal. She's really a good girl. But I just really felt like she don't have my back when it comes to grumpy manager. Whether I'm crazy or strange. I don't like being called crazy. That will make me crazy. 